mr president it is one of the great misconceptions of agriculture that higher food prices automatically translate into higher farm incomes. however it is the experience of farmers in my own member state ireland that they are not getting fair play or a fair return in the food supply chain. in two thousand and ten average farm incomes in ireland were eur seventeen seven hundred or just over fifty of the average industrial wage. since two thousand the cost of on farm production has increased by over thirty seven despite major efficiencies at farm level. at the same time the price paid to farmers has increased by only. fourteen i have no doubt this imbalance is replicated for farmers right across the eu. it is clear that primary producers are being squeezed from both sides of the food supply chain. on the one side they receive low grade farm gate prices due to the strong position of processors and retailers and on the other side high input prices due to increased concentration of input companies. total input costs for eu farmers climbed by almost forty between two thousand and two thousand and ten and costs continue to increase for farmers year on year. the upper pressure on these prices will rise further as a result of resource scarcity and the growing demand for food. on the other side of the chain retailers have used their powers over farmers to implement a number of methods such as low money pay to play money payment delays shelf space pricing and carrying the cost of discount campaign which cut away at the returns of farmers and buy them in unfair and unbalanced conditions. this is about fair return for fair work making a viable living from work that brings added value to the environment delivers food security and puts the food on the table of the european citizens. the retailers processors food suppliers and consumers are key stakeholders in the food supply chain but so is the farmer and i think we should remember that. thank you.